This tutorial will demonstrate how to submit a new transportation request. The first thing we need to do is log into the system with our username and password. Once you log in, you'll be presented with your dashboard. We're going to click on the Create Trip button. You must accept this disclaimer, so please read it very carefully. You'll need to choose what school you're with. And then select the type of trip you're planning. Is it an academic trip or is it a sports trip? Choose the details of your trip. Read each option very carefully. Selecting the wrong trip type can cause your trip to be denied or take significantly longer to process. Fill out each item in the request form. Make sure you don't miss any. After you fill out each section, you'll want to hit the Save Trip Request button. If any section isn't filled out, a red line will appear next to the box and tell you that that section needs to be filled. In the lesson plans, if this is an academic trip, you can copy and paste from Word or ePlan. Click Save Trip Request. Once you submit your request, you'll be taken to the Trip Approval Steps page. You can see that your trip submission was complete, and we're waiting for the Principal, the Student Learning and Transportation Authorization. You can now click the Home button to return to your dashboard. Here you'll see the trip that you've submitted, and it is under the Trip Submission status has been complete. That means it's waiting for your principal to authorize the trip. You can view the trip at any time, see the trip information, a proposed route from Google Maps. You'll be shown what driver and bus is assigned to your trip if it's a transportation trip from the district. And you'll see messages here about the trip from the principal and different departments if they have any issues. That's all there is to submitting a trip request with the new TRIP system from Bullock County Schools.